Six people have been arrested and charged with intent to possess and deliver cocaine. I'm told as much as 44 pounds of cocaine. So it is the blooper scene around the world. Uh, you know, I did a lot of cool things in my news career. I freed an innocent man from prison. I won some Emmy Awards. Uh, but I think I'm always going to be remembered for this moment in time. It happened in 1990 in Minneapolis. I'm covering a drug bust and inside the house the, the cops find some evidence <laughs> and they decide they're going to bring it out on live TV. Obviously I had no idea what was going on. Uh, I don't even see what's happening when they're bringing out the evidence. Um, so it's been kind of a, a, a funny thing in newsrooms for a long, long time. Uh, but then YouTube comes along and somebody uploads it to YouTube and then suddenly I've become internationally famous with this thing. I, I truly can't go anywhere where somebody hasn't seen this video before. I, uh, my wife jokes that if, 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 she, if I'm holding a cell phone at a party and there are four or five people gathered around my cell phone, she, she rolls her eyes, she knows exactly what I'm, what I'm doing. But it, it, you don't even have to speak English to understand the humor in this, in in this video. I've seen this video a thousand times and it never gets old. There you can see it's yeah and and I just miss it. I just miss it by a second. H had I turned around and seen it I would be responsible for how I reacted. I, I could have dropped the f-bomb. I was just lucky. Now the backstory. So I was working for this television station that really wanted you right up where the action was and I showed up at five minutes to five. The live shot is right off the top of the newscast and, and my station needed me to be right up near the action. Well, the only evidence that there was anything going on at all was broken glass on the door. There's no crime scene tape. This was an undercover drug bust. So I go and knock on the door and uh, the cop pulls his head out of the door and says, you know, what do you want, TV boy, essentially. And I said, hey, I'm Jeff Crilly and I'm with Eyewitness News 5 and I'd love to stand right in front of your door if that's possible. And the guy says, no, that's not going to happen. And I said, why not? He says, well, we got a bunch of un undercover guys in there. I said, well, if you don't want your undercover guys to be on TV, just don't come out between 5 and 5.02 because that's when I'm live. Well. I presume that inside there's a rookie cop that they're hazing and they had found this evidence and they decided to bring it out on live TV. And if you slow down the video, you can actually see the cop smiling. He knows exactly what he's doing. Uh, I don't know, um, you know, we, we filed a complaint later. We asked them, you know, we don't appreciate you abusing our airwaves um, to play a, a joke on, on you know, you're one of your officers, but uh, I, I have to look back at my news career and say of all of the things that I did, this is the thing that I'll probably be remembered for. Uh, I do have a standard joke that I leave people with. I say, you know, after all of this, they had to drop the charges because the evidence wouldn't stand up in court. <laughs> but I'm <bum>, rim shot. <laughs> anyway, that's the, the story behind my famous blooper.